Right now at 6, should older politicians be forced to take a cognitive test to make sure that they're mentally fit for office? Yeah, so that's what former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley wants to see happen. Fox 46's Maureen Wirtz joins us live in the studio now. Yeah, Maureen, you reached out to, and asked elected officials how they feel about the possibility of a cognitive test. Yeah, so I spoke with psychologists who say cognitive tests should not be used as the only measuring tool for mental fitness, but now Haley's suggestion is out there and it's not stopping some from playing politics. There's a saying that goes, age ain't nothing but a number. But if you're talking about Nikki Haley, the former Republican governor of South Carolina and former U.S. ambassador, it's all about that number. Former ambassador and former governor Haley, I think, um, is starting the 2024 race, obviously, a lot earlier than anticipated. Haley suggesting that all older politicians take a cognitive test. Is that something that you've been seeing in the field? Are people going through these types of tests to kind of prove their worthiness for a job? The only reason that I know of that somebody would do that is if there was ca cause for concern. Dr. Chantel McQueen is a psychologist here in Charlotte and says cognitive tests are complicated and shouldn't be used as a one-size-fits-all kind of test. But I don't think that cognitive testing would necessarily ever be the default unless, again, there were other reasons to suggest that it should be looked at. From 26 to 81, the average age of all North and South Carolina Congress men and women is about 60 years old. And Khalif Rhodes, a political commenter, says that's a good thing. If you've been elected and people believe that you speak to their interests and you speak to what they believe in and they, they trust you with their lives, with, with running their day to day activities and ensuring that that folks will represent their best interests, um, I don't believe we should put an age limit on it. But should they take cognitive tests? We reached out to every single U.S. congressman or woman and U.S. senator in both North and South Carolina wanting to see if they'd be willing to take a cognitive test. Austin Livingston with 68-year-old Republican Representative Ralph Norman out of South Carolina wrote back. If you're talking about legitimate cognitive testing conducted by neurologists or other board-certified medical experts, Representative Norman has no problem with that. And Alex Ives with 78-year-old Republican Representative Virginia Fox out of North Carolina wrote, if you actually believe this is newsworthy on a day when congressional Democrats are teeing up trillions and spending without a cost estimate, you should consider taking a cognitive test. Your story is laughable. Do you think elected officials should go through some type of cognitive test or something like that before they, before they serve? No, no, I, I, I don't. I think the standard should be um, that you should be qualified to run for the office that you're seeking. And so if there's an age limit, obviously meet that age limit. And then the only qualification that I believe after that is that do the folks that you're seeking to represent want you to represent them. As for some, the only test politicians need is at the ballot box. So as I said, we've reached out to all of the elected officials in North and South Carolina, and we're waiting to hear back, and we'll keep you updated on fox46.com. Live in the studio, Maureen Wirtz, Fox 46.